Is Bitcoin about to skyrocket and could it be a once in a lifetime opportunity? Or should you stay away and avoid losing all your money? My name is Maxim and I've spent over 10 years navigating the ups and downs of the market. Today I'm gonna show you some practical tips that I use to decide when and how to invest in Bitcoin. Watch till the end because I will also reveal a better alternative to Bitcoin. Now I'm gonna show you my screen. Let's have a look at what makes Bitcoin so unique. On this screenshot you can see six main differences, but today we'll discuss only three of them, which I believe are the most important ones. The first one is scarcity. Unlike the money in your pocket, which the government can print non-stop, there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoins. This scarcity is a big part of its appeal, making it similar to gold in that sense. Even with gold, people believe they can mine it on asteroids sometime in the future. The next one is portability. You can send Bitcoin to anyone, anywhere in the world, almost instantly and with very low fees. Try doing that with a bar of gold. Last but not least is decentralization. This is a big one. Bitcoin operates on a network of computers all around the world. No single government or institution controls it, which appeals to many people. On this screenshot, we can see how Bitcoin stacks up against traditional assets like stocks, bonds and gold. One of the main benefits is that Bitcoin has a low correlation with the stock market. This means when the stock market goes down, Bitcoin might not move in the same direction. This makes it a valuable tool for diversification. By adding a little bit of Bitcoin to your portfolio, up to 5%, you can potentially reduce your overall risk. These are examples how Bitcoin behaved during the major events. For example, during the war escalation, S&P 500 went up by 2% over the next 10 days. From the date of this event, gold was zero and Bitcoin went up by 12%. However, over the next 60 days, S&P 500 went down by 7%, gold went up by 6%, but Bitcoin went up by 20%. As you can see, you have additional diversification if you have Bitcoin in your portfolio. However, Bitcoin is more volatile than most assets. It went up by over 5,000% in 2013 and on the other hand it went down by 74% in 2018. It's not for the faint of heart but with that risk comes the potential for high returns. Question to you, would you consider adding Bitcoin to your portfolio right now? Let me know in the comments below. So why is Bitcoin in the spotlight again? It's because of the approval of ETFs in the USA. And on this screenshot, we can have a look at what happened to gold ETF when it was approved nearly 20 years ago. After that, gold price skyrocketed over the next seven years and investors are expecting the same thing to happen with Bitcoin. And if wealthy investors continue buying it through these ETFs, Bitcoin price could surge the same way. Here we can see that Bitcoin was one of the best assets from 2013 to 2023. It got the first place seven times out of the last 10 years and annualized return was 124%. So I have little doubt it won't outperform other assets. And just to clarify, BTC stands for Bitcoin, SPX, S&P 500, that's high yield bonds, that's emerging markets, gold, government bonds and commodities. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more investments insights. By 2045, Bitcoin is estimated to be a 280 trillion asset, making up 7% of the global asset market. Keep in mind that Bitcoin is only 1 trillion at the moment, while gold is 16 trillion. It is hard to believe, but four years ago, when Bitcoin was around $7,000, some famous investors said it would never reach $60,000. And they did the same two years ago, when Bitcoin was $16,000, it would never go back over $60,000. So as you can see, Bitcoin can go multiple times in value just in two years. On this page, we can see Bitcoin monthly return is teaching a lesson to those who rely only on historical patterns to predict its movements. 
September is typically a bearish month for Bitcoin, but this time it surprised everyone. On the bottom of the screen, you can see that on average, September is negative by 3% and median negative 4%, but this time it is positive. And every time it is positive, the rest of the year is also good for Bitcoin. What do you think will the rest of the year be positive or negative for Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments below. What's behind the shift? Why could Bitcoin go up? Well, there are several factors. The first one is liquidity. China's recent macroeconomic stimulus has injected liquidity into the market, improving the sentiment. The second factor is that interest rates will be cut while the US economy is still growing. This is also positive for Bitcoin, unless a recession happens or unemployment suddenly jumps to 5 or 6 percent. Of course, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Bitcoin is volatile big time. One day is up, the next day it's down by 10 percent. Let's have a look at this chart. One year it could be up by 60 percent. The next year it could be down by 64 percent. Be prepared to hold it for a long time because some years can be very brutal. Finally, do your own research. Don't just rely on what you hear from others. Read about Bitcoin, understand how it works and consider its potential risks and rewards. If you decide to invest, start small. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss my buy and sell alerts. Now I'm going to show you my portfolio where I invest my real money and I will quickly explain you each position so you can understand where I'm coming from and what I'm planning to do so hopefully you can take advantage of it so the first one is Amazon that's a long haul the option expires on the 20th of December this year the strike price is $180 total return $278 and let's have a look at chart as you can see the current price is $168 and it is trading above this red line that's 200 moving average so I believe it is bullish because it's also above this yellow line that's 50 day more than average. The red line has been a strong support over the last two months. Yes, it did go down below it at the beginning of August, but that was a black swan event. Otherwise, I believe the company is undervalued. And by the end of this year, if everything goes according to the plan, it should reach at least $210 because let's not forget, we will have elections in the USA and it's Christmas ready. So this is all bullish for the market. And if you scroll down, you see that full-time professional analysts believe that the price target of this company is at least $221. Technicals also show it's a buy. So I think it's a good company to hold over the next at least six to 12 months. The next company is Bitfarms. That's a Bitcoin mining company and that's a Bitcoin proxy. Basically, if you believe in Bitcoin, then this company should do well. For example, if you think Bitcoin price will go up over the next three to six months by 20%, then Bitcoin company should at least double or in many cases, uh, Bitfarms could go up by 60% over the next three to six months. So let's have a look at the chart. At the moment the stock price is around $2, which is below this red line, that's 200 moving average, and below the yellow line, 50 day moving average. So that's not good, that's bearish. If you have researched this company, if you believe in it, then it could be a good time to enter because I believe it is undeveloped. And if you scroll down, you will see that many full time. I believe it should be valued at $4. So that's at least 100% upside. Another reason uh, why I purchased contracts because recently Right Platforms, that's another Bitcoin mining company, wanted to acquire Bitfarms for $2.50. So there, there is at least 25% upside from here. All right, so let's have a look at the next company, which is CLSK. That's CleanSpark. That's another Bitcoin mining company. As you can see, I've got at least seven different contracts with different expiry dates and different strike prices. But overall, I'm bullish in the company and I believe 
this is the best Bitcoin mining company. Therefore, I invested a lot more money. Let's have a look at the chart. Okay, so it is very similar to bit farms. It's trading below the red line and yellow line, but it is extremely undervalued. If you just have a look at the price target from different full-time analysts, they say it is it should be at around $22. So it's at least 130% upside. Make sure you do your own research and uh, if you want to get my trade alerts, make sure you subscribe so you can be the first one to know what I'm doing with each company. The next company is Hims, and I have uh, long calls with a strike price of $15 expiring the 17th of January next year. The current stock price is 17.66. Yes, the stock price did go down on the 3rd of October because FDA announced that weight loss drugs were no longer in shortage and GLP copycats wouldn't be allowed to be sold as cheaply as they used to. Therefore, companies like Hims potentially could lose some income. But if you read more details about it, Hims is not selling the same GLP-1 copycats. Therefore, they should still be able to sell their GLP-1 copycats. But regardless of that, even if they wouldn't be able to sell it altogether, it is still a grown company and already profitable. As you can see, full-time analysts believe that the price target of this company should be about $22. So there is at least 25% upside. So I'm bullish on the company and don't forget to do your own research. The next company is MSTR. That's micro strategy. I've got two different option strategies. Both of them are bullish. These are bull call spreads. First one expires this year on the 20th of December, the next one expires next year, 17th of January. Both of them profitable, so let's have a look at the chart. Uh, the current stock price is $176, so that's above red line and yellow line, that's bullish. Uh, Full-time analysts believe the price should be about $200, so that's at least 15% upside. I would say that's triple leverage on Bitcoin price, so if Bitcoin goes up by 10%, my strategy should go up in theory by 30%. And as you can see here, it's in the uptrend. So possibly in the next three to six months, it should reach at least, I would say, $250 if everything goes according to the plan. What is the best way to invest in Bitcoin? You can buy it using one of the many ETFs or you can buy it directly via one of the biggest crypto exchanges like Coinbase or Binance. Also, you can invest in a Bitcoin proxy like a Bitcoin company and think of it like a gold miner because you own a company that actually generates some income out of all this Bitcoin money. Make sure you watch this video now about a Bitcoin mining company that you should consider for your portfolio. If you use my affiliate links, I'll earn a commission at no extra cost to you, which helps support the channel and cover production costs. I personally use their services for stock research. I'm not a licensed financial advisor and this information isn't financial advice.